so I believe we just yeah we just got to chapter three right uh, when everything died on me yesterday so we discovered that this, whoever this top head guy he's a bit of a hoser man uh, I don't I don't like him no he's a uh, I don't think he's a nice guy also it looked like he was wearing someone else's face and possibly something about like old time guy's dad. Oh, ripped out page. Someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Huh. Strange. I was in the attic and I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. At least there's electricity now, but... Well, where is... Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. What? A fuse must have blown. Mia, darling, go to the basement and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? Wow. You weren't happy with me. I just wanted to show you the thing I found. Uh, okay. Basement. No problem. She sounded like I took a piss on a mother flower bed. <laughs> I need a flashlight. Well, it's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. Yay, back to the attic. Wee. Oh, alarm clock. Yeah, yeah. Give me stairs. Uh -huh. I didn't see a flashlight last time, but... Well, he said in the attic, I don't see the flashlight. Am I, like, just blind? Mm-hmm. Oh! Exclamation mark. That's a flashlight. Okay. It's not new, but it should do. I got a very powerful ball. Okay. Yay! Flashlight? Uh, X. Okay. Yay. Okay, so it was a cutscene, that's why it wasn't working. <sighs> cutscene. <laughs> yeah, that thing freaked me out when I was down in the basement the first time. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. It caught me. They managed to get me with the horse so the last time. First aid kit. See, important weapons. Look, crowbar. Could have come down the basement for crowbar. And I read a creep book in the attic and ended up in It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. It doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. Okay. Some random locker. Okay, that's um I know that went through to the other area, so obviously, um, yeah, that that's blocked in for a reason. Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Key to the shed by the house looks very fragile. There's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Okay, so lever. Now we go. Now we go to the shed by the house. Okay. Taking my cleaver. I feel safer. <laughs> Even though I'm pointing the blade at my face. Game doesn't say I can arm myself, but I did. I got me a cleaver.
Oh, that's not really good, man. Like, Jesus here. Of course. What the? F Didn't you notice the footprints of blood? Like blood. <laughs> it's just uh, definitely. What is this? Where did all the blood come from? A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Pitchfork. Come on, man. Let's do an old witch burning with this pitchfork. Looks like burning the top hat, man. Stuff from the office here. Quantum localizer. Allows in-depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so-called quantum traces, enabling the user to identify silhouettes of people and other living organisms who've past presence it in a given fragment of space-time continuum it has left behind detectable clusters of waves and particles, i.e. quantum clouds. Equipped with two ultra-sensitive sensors, the device can detect both electromagnetic and quantum traces. Electromagnetic sensors, thanks to a special built-in coil and an ultra-sensitive sensor, the localizer can detect metal objects up to dozens of meters away with a precision of 00, zero ICM. I'm not smart enough to know what that means. Quantum sensor is advanced, very sensitive particle sensors. Based on innovative technology, uh, it can detect quantum traces left by living organisms VLF display, a screen enabling the user to locate large clusters of quantum clouds. Impulse generator released it. A strong impulse, which is then picked up by the sensors, allows the user to locate metals and anomalies. Quantum scanner enables the user to stabilize quantum clouds and reveal any anomalies that may cause interference. Name, quantum localizer, sensors, electromagnetic quantum, blah, 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 blah. Life, long time. Okay, I'll take that. What's this? Oh, that's the quantum localizer. Hey, guys, in the CIA. Okay, good for them. Um, the shirt. That's just paranoid. Oh, Jesus! Man, Man. you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma, honey. And top hat and. You friggin' hoser. Oops. I suck at this. Alright. Something's not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Uh, Equip device localizer allows you to detect electromagnetic quantum traces. Quantum class icon. I promise you. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who was here in a different time. Tourist. I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, and I need to scan it. The signal must be coming from this place. Now I just have to use the scanner on this one. Okay, use the device to scan a cloud. Hold left mouse button. That's great, I already do it. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clones here. Covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. Yes. Do that. Okay, so. In my house, apparently. The fuse is missing. Some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. Okay. I'm at the source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize it. Okay, due to their nature, clouds can be unstable and their removal may be affected by abnormalities. In the case that you will have to destroy them all. Find the abnormalities in the surroundings. 
you can make it easier by using right mouse button. There's the anomaly. Now I have to charge the localizer and hit it with a beam. Okay. Just try to normally hit it with the EMP charge fire device. The bottom highlight area around the localizer indicate the number of anomalies to be destroyed. Okay. That should do it. Time to stabilize the cloud. I did it. Clearly, someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Hmm. Read further, my hands can. Very useful in the field. Yes, take rope. Rope is good. Now. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be here. Yeah, we're just gonna run into the woods. That's that sounds like a great idea. Really good idea in the middle of a horror thing. Yeah, let's just go run into the woods. Mm-hmm. Here we go. We are. Okay, can I? I must have went up from here. Ah, rope. That did not work. Oh, hold it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. The uh, stairs or ladder, and what do we got? So much blood, and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. That's a gnarly looking things. Oh, that's yeah, that's a bad thing, man. something heavy through that gate. All right. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Um. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Some plants are loose. I'll try to break them out. Break it. Break it. Can we go to the other side? No. Okay. Find a bunch of blood. Then decide, hey, let's go wander into the woods where there's more blood. That it, without an axe. Like. Sorry. My first impulse is weaponize myself. Extreme weaponization would be my goal. Like, how many guns and knives and whatever else can I carry? Then I'd go under into the woods. I am curious enough that I would go into the woods, but in full honesty, it would be heavily armed. Oh, of course, a barn in the middle of the woods. That's not ominous at all. Just, uh, yay. The, uh, <laughs> sirens outside. Nope. Damn it! And you know when you pulled it just closed. once or twice, it is uh, with a chain. I'm pretty sure you knew. And it looks like something or someone is hanging. Is that? <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizer's detected before I go in. Okay. Yay. Okay. Oh, I'm smart. SMRT. I uh, am smart. White fence. Okay. Oh, the 
white box. Platforming. Platforming. And we did it. We did it. Yay. <laughs> All right. This is just going to go investigate possible murder with radiation. Okay, now we detect it. There's one more. There we are. Okay, got one. So there's several, okay. Neat. It's like playing asteroids or something. But in 3D! makes me feel a lot better. Now I feel like I'm actually uh, defendable. Good old stabby stabby. Uh, yeah, well. Let's cut through some of this here. Let's see. Well, come on, stabby stabby. Alright. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. I suck. Alright, come on. Mm. Gotcha. Little gadget's kind of cool. Kind of get myself into a barn, which is just a bad idea in every way, shape, and form. I'm going to climb up the top. Oh, get caught up the top. Maybe over here. Nope. All right. Well, we'll go in. I don't really like... Oh, it's a deer. Not even like a person. It's a deer, which is dead, but... So there was a hunting knife and then a deer. Uh, and then ominous music. Okay. First off. We need to make sure we have an escape plan first. Escape plan. Okay, we're not. I can't cut through that. You're very dead. Okay. You want me to examine the deer carcass? Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. Yes, I can. Uh, bizarre! Oh, come on. There we go. I need a box, I'm guessing. He wouldn't just climb. Oh, bolt cutters. I like bolt cutters. That's the end of you. Snappy snap. Ah, there we go. Just what I was expecting. A box. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Anything else cool in here? An axe? Axe would be nice. There we go. And we're going. Um, ah. No more deer. Come on. Alright. That sounds like a bomb, which would be really bad. Is it a bomb? I think it's a bomb. 
or a very good tracking device. But this is a horror game, so I'm going to go with Bomb. I was going to stick your hand in something gushy when you're... Puke. Whenever it's like horror, it's like, okay, gushy thing. Let's put my hand in gushy thing. But you've obviously never lived in a small town. Because that wouldn't bother us. <laughs> oh, yay! That's... What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Yeah, that's not a good thing. That's probably a really bad thing, actually. And I didn't open that. I didn't open that. That would probably be also a bad thing. Possibly been in my house. Well, pretty much definitely been in my house. And, yeah. Back in yeah. the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. The way this is going, yeah, they will. Totally. We. You've got some random dude in there, and he's stealing the power to your house. That's probably not good. I'm just waiting for Top Hat Guy to return. But I'm wondering if Top Hat Guy was, like, sealed behind that wall. Yay! Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. Well, it's only the third month. What's it going to be like by the ninth? Ooh. Somebody's not a supporting husband. Hey, all right. Bill, Jesus, woman. <laughs> you want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. <laughs> Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Watch carefully. If it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? <laughs> 